Meanwhile, in Egypt, the country's cabinet held its weekly meeting in Sharm el Sheikh following the Russian plane crash. It's the first meeting for the full cabinet outside Cairo. The government stressed that the Russian finding that the plane crash was indeed an act of terror has been put into consideration, but Egypt's investigation committee has not yet reached a conclusion that the crash was a criminal act. The concerned Egyptian authorities will consider these investigations that the Russian side has reached and include it in the comprehensive investigation processes, which is being handled by the investigations committee that all international parties have joined. Putting into consideration all possible reasons behind the plane crash, including a terror attack, the Egyptian authorities have heightened security measures taken in all airports as follows. Revising all passengers' security procedures and employees' luggage when entering the airport and the gate leading to the airplanes, along with inspecting all vehicles and equipments and their drivers with revising their registration. The committee has not reached any criminal evidence in this accident until this moment. As for technical possibilities, there are several scenarios which are all being investigated. And as soon as we reach any results, whether it's technical or criminal, we will be the first to announce it.